Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial. My name is William. In this tutorial, I would like us to look at uh, using UUIDs instead of uh, IDs in our Laravel application. And before we start, I would like to ask that if you have not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. It really means a lot to me. Uh, UUIDs are in, in full stand for uni Universal Unique Identifier. And this is a 128-bit value used to identify an object. And in this case, uh, we can be able to use it as a primary key in our database. Advantages of using UUIDs, the UUID is not just unique in a database, but it is unique, almost we can say, in the entire universe. And in this case, uh, it can be able to help to enable uh, one to merge rows from multiple databases and distribute data databases across multiple servers without any conflict of IDs. And uh, UUIDs can also be used safely in URLs and uh, they are also SEO friendly as opposed to using IDs. And in this case, also when you're using IDs, it's very easy for somebody to know whatever it is or to get the record that uh, in this case you are working with and be able to do uh, something with it. So um, the only disadvantage of using UUIDs is um, that uh, it requires more storage and also uh, difficult to debug. Let us go ahead and look into it and see what we can be able to do. So the first thing I would like us to do is go to database migrations. And in this case, we have migrations that usually ship with Laravel, and this is a Laravel 10 installation. And I would like to click on the first migration, which is uh, the users table. And uh, here, what we are going to do, we are going to change. We are going to change the this ID. In this case, whatever it is that is, that is used here is a big integer. But now I want to change this to UUID like that and then um, with a name of ID in this case and then after that we will also set it as our primary key like that so that is all that we will be able to do here the next thing I would like us to do is to go to the user model and we are going to do a few things there so I open uh, uh, up HTTP models the user model and then we are going to modify a few things the first thing I want us to to put is that uh, I want us to ensure that we have set auto incrementing uh, off so in this case we will not allow this um, incrementing to to be done so in this case I can just say public incrementing and incrementing is the one that uh, now when you you have uh, been able to set your IDs it can be able to move from an ID of one to two like that but then now you see when you're using UIDs it's uh, slightly different because now you cannot be able to know which one precedes the other and then there is something else that we, we, we are supposed also to do we are going to uh, override uh, a creating function. So in this case, we are going to have a function protected, protected static function, booted. void and then in, in this case we will uh, be able to put a function inside here and inside here we are going to just create uh, the UUID so in this case we can say static creating function and in this case we can pass in the user model 
saved in a variable user and then we will go ahead and inside this closure we are going to now create the UUID and we are just going to say user ID and we are going to set it to a, a string we will use the string helper UUID like that and then we can say to string after that we will ensure that we have imported uh, this helper method so I will just uh, import it as follows use str just like that instead of writing the whole um, the whole thing so this is what we have here and then uh, I think everything is uh, perfect regarding whatever it is that we are, we are having here the next thing I would like us to do is to go and create some users in our database so we we are going to go to uh, database factories and here we have user factory which assists us to create some dummy data of users and then when we open uh, the seeders when we open the seeders inside here we can we have the database seeder and by default there is a function that has been uncommented here that can be able to assist us to create uh, 10 users using the user factory in the users table so in this case I'm going to uncomment and we are going to use this one to create the users in our table the next thing I would like us to do is to run our database uh, I mean that database migration but first of all let us connect to uh, Zamp and uh, MySQL so after that then we are going to run the migration when we check our env file we have um, our database as laravel and then the username as root and the password set to an empty string if you want to change uh, this one you can change the name of your database to whatever it is that you is your liking and every other thing you can leave like that after that I would like to launch terminal and be able to do the migrations and since this table uh, in my machine I have a table that is exactly named Laravel what I'm going to do is to refresh the migrations and then after that migrate the tables once again so we are going to use the command PHP uh, T Sun migrate fresh like that this you drop all the tables and migrate them once again yes the tables have been migrated once again and then the next thing I would like us to do is to seed uh, the 10 users that we have been able to create in the seeders so I'm going to run the command php artisan db seed you can see the command is successful so I would like us to go to our to Chrome and check what we have in our database tables the user table in this case so we are going to just uh, localhost php my admin localhost forward slash php my admin that is how i access my uh, databases in this case if you have a different uh, configuration if you are not working with zamp then you are working you'll be slightly different but then i will open laravel and then we have the users uh, table and you can see we have 10 users and when we keenly look at it instead of id we actually have a long string in this case 
which we call the UUID. So the UUIDs are now being used as the, in, in the ID column instead of the auto-incrementing integers, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like that. So we have been able to implement that. And let's just see if we can be able to get the values uh, when we make the elo eloquent uh, calls. So in this case, let me run my server. In this case, PHP, by running the command PHP artisan, serve like that and this you start my development server and you go back to my browser and visit localhost host 8000 of course it you just open a laravel application and inside here inside the web.php where we have where we have um, the routes so routes web.php we have the first function which loads the welcome page and i would just like to use that one but since whatever it is that we are using is a use user model i'm going to import it here so use app models user like that and then i'll be able to return a user here so in this case we can return all users so let us first of all do that return uh, user all like that and in this case if we refresh it's going to i think give us a json data for uh, the users in this case as you can see we have the first user with ID, with name, verified that, all those things. If we want to return maybe the first user in our database, we can say first, like that. And I would like to refresh again. We will also see that uh, in this case we are returning the first one that has been registered in our, in our database with the name of Xander Lakin. And then, of course, we can also be able to return a user via the UUID. So maybe let me just copy this UUID here. How you copy it, and then we can uh, change this and maybe say find. The way we usually say find one for the ID or something. How you paste the UUID here, and when we refresh, when we refresh this page, we are still able to return uh, that user so that is all about this tutorial thank you very much for following up until this time i ask that you may subscribe comment you can also share this video and if you find it uh, useful you can also give it give us a thumbs up thank you very much